Hello and good day. This is Punchline and we are First News Nation. On Punchline, we discuss national politics. I am Sami Ajifo. Thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget, for those of you who have already done that, it's fine. For those of you who haven't, I'm talking about liking and subscribing to all our social media handles, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, just as you see here. Going a step further, enabling notifications on all these platforms at First News Nation or News Nation FM. So every time we have a new episode of our programs, you'll know, will be one of the most endearing things we'd love you to do for us. I am Sami Ajifo. Once again, thank you for joining us. Interesting conversations about the 2.18 trillion Naira supplementary budget. When we come back from that, we'll tell you blow by blow breakdown of what the budget entails, what is going to be used for, and for how much. We'll be right back. Welcome back. It's still Punchline, and we are First News Nation. Let's go straight into the conversation. 2.18 trillion naira supplementary budget has been passed by the National Assembly, especially from the Red Chambers. No opposition from the opposition parties in the National Assembly. I need to restate this because we've said this before. PDP is in that house. Labour Party is in that house. NNPP is in that house. SDP is in that house. House, yet none of them have opposed any provision there. That sends a strong message. Let's leave that for another conversation. But let's move on to this. What does a supplementary appropriation mean? Is to supplement the already existing appropriation granted by the Appropriation Act, which means that the budget that you declared for a particular year is not enough to achieve uh, your objectives or there are new challenges, new challenges you need to surmount. So you create a supplementary budget. President Mohamed Buhari had already passed a 2023 budget for the year 2023. He left on the 29th of May 2023 after the elections were conducted. A new president took over. Just recently, the Supreme Court had given him uh, a stamp of approval. Now, the budget that President Buhari wrote was 21 trillion naira, 21 trillion naira, the budget for 20. We're just in the month of November, and President Tinubu needs an extra 2 trillion naira for several reasons. Let's move into this. Well, you don't forget that in the month of July, President Tinubu asked for 500 billion naira from President Muhammad Buhari's 21 trillion to, uh, you know, subsidy for uh, alleities for the subsidy removal. That was 500 billion. 500 billion was spread across different places. The National Assembly took part of it, and some other people took part of it. Now, President Tinubu needs an extra 2.18 trillion for new needs. And we're going to explain what those needs are. Well, um, if you put that together, 21 trillion and several other amounts that have been requested, you're getting close to about 30 trillion naira, the highest budgetary allocation in Nigerian history. 21 trillion was the highest. President Tinubu is adding an extra 2 trillion plus some other billions here and there. It will get very close to about 30 trillion naira. 30 trillion naira for one year. Now, if you look at the 2.18 or 2.17 trillion, it's going to include the new workers' wage increase, 35,000 naira. I want to remind you that according to the agreement between the federal government and the labor unions that they'll be paying an extra 35,000 naira to federal workers for six months. That will get to about 200 and something billion naira. That is also put into this 2.18 trillion naira. Okay? And conditional tra cash transfer, I don't know what that is. I think it's the money that the federal government gives to Nigerians. I've never seen anyone get it. Mm -hmm. President Buhari's time was 5,000 naira. Then you had trader money and all that. This one is another SCAM. Anyone want to call it? But you see, this is also part of the monies that are encapsulated in this two trillion naira. Follow me. Now you also know that uh, 
there are new security concerns. There are new security concerns between May 29th and today. I don't know any security concern. I don't know any uprising or anything. But 500 billion plus, half a trillion naira has been earmarked from this same 2 trillion for security concerns. I'm not saying Nigeria is very safe. I'm saying that we have not had that kind of problem that would need that amount of money, half a trillion naira, between now and December 2023. Let's move on. The FCC, FCT ministry, of course, led by Ms. Omike, is asking for 100 billion naira out of these 2 trillion. Student loans. Remember the student loans President Tinubu talked about? He's actually taking it serious. They are budgeting 5.5 billion naira for student loans. We wait to see how those loans will work. But 5.5 billion has been earmarked for student loans. Probably by December this year, the president will also draw up the 2024 budget. Okay? Now, inside this, 18 billion naira is going to be spent. Guess what? For the Emo, the Bayosa, and the Kogi governorship elections. INEC is collecting 18 billion. Please add this 18 billion to how much billion did they ask for during the presidential election? They need 18 billion to implement the Kogi, Bayosa, and Imo state elections. That one is interesting. That is what's going to happen for one day. And at the end of the day, you might hear the election is shifted. You might hear ballot boxes. They not get there on time. They printed wrong ballot papers. I'm just telling you what you should expect during the elections in any of these states or all of these states. Wainek is going to be receiving 18 billion naira to go ahead with these elections. Now, this is the one that's interesting to me. Let's talk about renovations of the president's and the vice president's official residences in Abuja. Now, it is uh, quite, the nomenclature is confusing. They said the president's official mansion in Abuja and the vice president's official residence in Asoro. So does the president have another house outside Aso Rock, or is it the renovation of Aso Rock that will require a change? 6.5 billion naira will come out of the 2 trillion naira to renovate the presidential villa, the official residence of the president in Aso Rock or in Abuja, whichever case it can be, because these days you don't really know. Sometimes someone say 25% of Abuja, FCT, during elections. We don't really know what's different between FCT and Abuja these days. But anyway, to renovate the office of the house of the president and vice president in Asoro, they will need 6.5 billion naira. Now, here's another one. Renovation of the president's official residence in Dodan Barracks, Lagos, is going to go up 4 billion naira. Dodan Barracks was the seat of power of government in Ikori, Lagos. The last person who stayed in Dodan Barracks was President Ibrahim Babangida before around 1991 we moved the federal capital territory to Abuja. So the president, Bola Metinubu, who in his thinking will be visiting Lagos a lot, will be spending 4 billion naira to fix Dodan barracks. Bear in mind, in 2017, the federal government had handed over the official residence of the president, State House Marina, to the Lagos state government. They had already officially, and that time the governor of Lagos State was Akiumi Ambode. So there is a presidential villa in Lagos, State House, Marina, Lagos. I know the place, beautiful place. Now he has been handed over to Lagos State government. It's no longer property of the federal government. So since the Lagos State government has taken over State House, which I don't know what they're using it for, Dodan Barracks, which had been abandoned for so long, over 20 something years, had been abandoned. President Tinbu plans to visit Dodan Barracks very, very often. And for that reason, 4 billion naira will be spent in renovating Dodan Barracks to look good enough every time the president visits Lagos. Don't forget that the president was also governor of Lagos, so he has a house in Lagos, but he's not going to be staying in his house. He's going to be staying in Dodan Barracks. 4 billion naira is going. Let's go for another break. When we come back from this break, we'll talk about the vice president's official residence in Lagos, and how much has been budgeted for that.
Welcome back. It's still Punchline, and we're discussing the supplementary budget that has been passed by the uh, Senate National Assembly in favor of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, adding 2.something trillion naira, 2.18 trillion, to the already existing 21 trillion naira that had been signed for by President Muhammadu Buhari. So if you add the whole thing together, plus other things that have been collected, 500 billion here, 500 billion for agriculture and all that, you're getting close to 30 trillion. One year's budget, 2023, the highest budget so far. Let's go into um, the budget for the vice president's official residence in Lagos. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Lagosian, governor of Lagos, been residing in Lagos all this while. The Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, former Governor of Bornu State. However, there is an official residence for him in Lagos State, not in Bornu State. Remember, the President of Nigeria had an official residence as a rock, but his own house was in Daura in Katsina State. Was there any provision during President Buhari's time in the early days of his government in 2016 that put a provision for an official residence in Daura? I didn't hear about that. But the vice president of Nigeria is having an official residence in Lagos. We don't know where that residence is. We don't know where it is. Is it his personal house? What will he be doing often in Lagos rather than in Borno State? However, four billion naira will be spent on that. Four billion. So if you look at um, the plus and minus and the fractions added between the president and the vice president, about eight or nine billion will be spent on renovating their houses. One billion is not small money. Two billion is not small money. Four billion is what they're going to spend to renovate one person's official residence. Hmm. There is an abandoned building that was uh, designed in 2009, built by Julius Berger in Abuja. 14 buildings within that same complex. That building was earmarked for a total of seven billion naira. That building was the office and the residence of the vice president. Now, that building was never used. It is abandoned till today. As a matter of fact, very funny story, 250 million naira was just earmarked to build the gatehouse for that particular building because that is not just the gatehouse to the vice president's house, it's the gatehouse to heaven. 250 million naira. However, in 2016, Vice President, uh, uh, President Emo Shibajo said, I'm not going to stay in the house. It's a waste of money. Since billion is a waste of money, I'll stay in Aguda House. Aguda House was designed to be a guest house for visiting heads of state within Asorok. That has become now the official residence of the Vice President. Rather than putting a few Nairas here to fix that place and use it for something else, it has been abandoned. Seven billion in 2009. But the vice president is going to be having an official residence in Lagos. I still want to ask what the vice president, Kashim Shetima, will be doing in Lagos. I did know that he was in Lagos. He you know, was a banker. So Lagos is the center of everything. But he's, does he spend most of his time in Lagos, Abuja, or in Borno State? Okay. If you want to look at what else you have in that supplementary budget, especially from the state house, you also notice that 200 million naira was budgeted for computerization and digitization of the state house. Computerization and digitization of the state house. However, if I take you back to Buhari's budget of 2023, this budget we are supposed to still be using, there is a provision, follow me, for 70 million naira, 70 million for electronic documentation management system which is the same thing as computerization of the state house. 17 million was budgeted there, but President Tinubu needs 200 million for almost the same thing. <laughs> okay, 73 million was spent to purchase office equipment for finance, ICT accounts, works, procurement department. ICT department is part of that, 73 million. But President Tinubu needs an extra 200 million for digitization, and computerization of the villa. Here's the one that busts my brain. 400 million Naira was budgeted in the 2023 appropriation bill signed by President Muhammad Buhari 
400 million naira for what? Replacement of telecoms infrastructure in Asorok. But President Zinobu needs 200 million naira for computerization and digitization of Asorok. The lesser things people are concerned about is the yacht of 5 billion. That doesn't really concern me. They say it belongs to the Navy. Maybe the language did not sit right. The presidential yacht. In other countries, they have presidential planes, they have presidential trains, they have presidential yachts. But you know the president is resident in a state that is close to water, Lagos. So he will need a yacht. But the Navy says it had already been signed for, it had already been paid for by the previous administration. They just want to put it in the budget again. So President Buhari actually was one who signed for the presidential yacht. So who's going to use it? The Navy. They say it has some, they have some telecoms in, uh, equipment there that are very vital. But why did they call it a presidential yacht? Why don't you just say they want to buy new more ships? And don't forget Nigeria is supposed to also be building ships. The other one that comes in is purchase of 1.5 billion naira for purchase of cars for the office of the first lady. Even though the chief whip of the Senate, Alin Dume, has come out to say, well, I know her personally, Laura Mitinubu doesn't like other lawyers. Uh, 1.5 billion for her cars, and also have like 2 billion or around that same thing for presidential cars. They have so many cars within the presidential pool, but President Tinubu believes he needs more cars because I guess the president doesn't buy fuel at 600 naira per liter. That's a supplementary budget. Don't forget that budget will be useful between now and December, highest by January, highest by February, whenever the Senate decides to pass the bill, the 2024, supplement, uh, 2024 Appropriation Act. But for now, this is what President Tinubu needs. Um, several people have looked at the budget provisions and said, what are they using it for? I told you what they use it for. If you have comments, please drop it in the comments section below. You, of course, for those of you who work within the civil service, you're going to be receiving 35,000 naira between when this budget is passed and the next six months. 35,000 naira, it's inside there. For the students listening to me or watching me right now, 5.5 billion has been earmarked for student loans. I'm very sure you don't know what the student loans are about, but money has been earmarked for you. And we have several other things. The elections in Kogi, Bayosa, and all that, 500 billion naira plus. Is going for security, like we're still looking at what has happened recently. Nothing has happened. So that's the 2.17 or 2.18 trillion naira President Tinubu is requiring, and he has been given permission to get that money. Whether it's going to come by loan or it's going to be com coming by receiving money from the central bank, the Federal Executive Council has said yes. The National Assembly, including the opposition party members, have said yes. That's the end of Solomon Grundy. We'll see you again after your comments have been dropped in the comment section below. Thank you for joining us. I am Sam Ejifu. Don't forget to like and subscribe as you see here at First News Nation and News Nation FM. Do all you can to stay safe.